Hello everyone, this is Oni and welcome to All About Giants, a hopefully conclusive and exhaustive look at Minecraft's most enigmatic mob. In fact, technically speaking, the giant isn't actually a mob of the game, but rather a mob that exists only within the code of Minecraft. They are not available in the vanilla game and it is extremely tricky to spawn one because their spawners don't work. But in this video, I will take a look at how to spawn one of these bad boys and what properties or other behavior they have. I originally planned to include this as part of the Red Electricity series but then realized this is too different from Red Electricity that it kind of deserves a video of its own. So without further ado, let us begin. Let's start with how to spawn a giant. There are three ways to spawn a giant, two of which I have tried and tested. I haven't tested the third one because the second and the first is so easy you aren't going to need the third one honestly. Now although you can place a spawner using MC Edit, a giant spawner to be precise, they will never spawn. Now why will they never spawn is actually very interestingly explained in the wiki, in the talk page of the wiki. As, as you can see, it's just spinning and suddenly restarting the spinning as if it's trying to spawn a mob but it's actually not spawning the mob and it glitches out like that. Yeah. Let's not look at that, shall we? Right. So why it doesn't spawn is basically what I gathered. I'll put a link in the description and I'll actually I'll paste that uh, information in the video description. It is a person on the wiki, uh, username orthotope, actually delved into the code and figured out that the reason giants don't spawn is because they have no valid spawning condition. We already knew this but why? What is exactly the spawning condition? Basically for a giant to spawn, the light level of a block needs to be simultaneously less than 8 and greater than 11. Now of course light level can only have one value and therefore a giant never spawns. Therefore this spawner will never spawn a giant. Surface. One of the ways you can spawn a giant is using the mod single player commands by Simo413 or what's his name. The link to the mod will be in the description and how to spawn it is by pressing slash sp uh, writing slash spawn giant and we got a giant. If you don't like to mod your minecraft.jar then fear not because the second way to make a giant would be using Texelelf's filter. Texelelf is a fellow YouTuber and in fact the creator of the invulnerability filter, the unified spawner filter and many other filters. He is a very very good programmer and filter maker for MC Edit, and I would strongly suggest you check out his other filters as well. Link to them will be in the description. Now how the filter works is basically you take any mobs you like. Uh, let's get a chicken since they pretty much die in one hit and once you run the filter in MC Edit, it will turn whichever mob you have into a giant. Basically it will change the mobs entity ID 253 which is that of a giant. So we have selected the block. It's, oh. it's, the filter is called Tommy Tweets Make Giant Filter. It's named after Tommy Tweet because he's the one who asked Texwell to make a filter that can spawn giants. Now there is a link to his video that he made in the video description so you can go check out Tom's video and you know give him feedback. Now what it does is changes the mob ID to 53 also applies persistent if you would like I I don't need it so I'm not gonna and and it will actually do not will not change the health therefore the m giant spawned using this method will have the same health as that of the chicken. So you may need to be aware of that while you're making a giant using this filter. There we go, the giant has been made. All we have to do is now go, oops sorry, there, analyze, as you can see there is a giant there. Right, we're gonna control S and we'll see you in game. And as we can see we have a very cute looking giant here, yes, who doesn't have persistent and they'll despawn eventually, in fact quite quickly because they seem to despawn quite quickly, also they can't move for whatever reason. 
Now the third way to make a giant that I know of is very convoluted and I have not tried and tested it so I do not advise it because if you mess up it's not my fault but it would be to make any mob save a schematic they open the schematic using nbt edit and then change the mob id to 53 and then you'd have a giant schematic again uh, it should theoretically work but i haven't tried it myself so don't come crying to me if it messes up your worlds yeah alrighty now that we've talked about how to spawn giants let us now experiment with the various properties of giants now the first thing you can notice is that although giants look like huge zombies they don't burn in the daylight that's the first difference all right now this is stated in the wiki so this is normal behavior however it is also stated in the wiki that the giants are neutral and do not attack unless provoked well let's find out then hi well looks like they're attacking eh i think they're attacking now a giant has a okay so i believe i'm out of its radius already wow looks like one of our giants has despawned here is a test giants aren't supposed okay i think i need to get down Giants aren't supposed to make noise or they're supposed to make human noises actually. Yes, they appear to make no noise. Move, slimy. They make the same noises as human, no idling noise. They're about 12 blocks tall. And I believe they hit you with 25 hearts. So that should be an instant kill. If it can get to me that is. Which it doesn't appear to be because of these uh, guys. So feel free to kill me anytime. Also they are very slow. Okay prepare to die. Really? You can't kill me? Wow okay. I was not aware, aware of that they stop right in front of you. I think they're trying to I think he's trying to ram me but <laughs> okay here is his hitbox that you can see giant is six times as big as a zombie and therefore he is exactly 12 blocks tall these are all two blocks with two block space and as you can see there are six spaces so they are exactly 12 blocks tall it looks like the giant on its own doesn't move looks like it won't move around like a zombie does so hmm. all right now the reason i spawned the giant using spc was to check its actual health in the wiki it is stated that a giant has 50 hearts as in 100 health now what i'm using is a filter called display entity data this is a very new filter of Texelove and is in fact not available on his website as of this recording and you can use it to see what the giant's various properties are. So we uh, run this filter and it dumps all the properties of the giant into the command prompt of MC Edit. So since that isn't frapsable, <laughs> frapsable I'm gonna take a screenshot of that and put that in the video right about here. Okay. So as you can see here in the health section we have 100 or 100 HP which equates to 50 hearts. You can also see the various other tags that the giant currently has. So far we have found out that giants do not burn in daylight. They aren't neutral and will chase me if I am in survival mode. They have no random movement, they don't move at all and they are quite slow. Now to figure out how high they can jump. In the wiki it's stated that they can jump one high blocks with difficulty. So let's figure let's challenge that theory. Hi. 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 I, I, I want you to come after me. Okay. They can actually chase me after that. Okay, cool. But can he chase me over the fence? Sincerely doubtful. 
Hi. Get in the hole again. Okay. Because <laughs> no, no, they can't. Okay. Hi, giant. Hi, gianty. Also, the giants are in fact considered a hostile mob. You can check. Switching to peaceful, the giant will disappear. All right. So it looks like giants do take damage from a cactus. <laughs> Let's find out if they have falling damage. Indeed they do. Let's see if they die in lava. Looks like they do. It is said in the wiki that the two golems attack giants. Let's put that to the test. Appears to be the case. Now snowballs don't do damage, but these guys sure do. Okay, you, you, you. Please stop doing that. Okay. And he just kills him in one hit. By the way, iron golems also have 50 health. So they have the exact same amount of health as a, as a giant. So if you would like to make an actual giant, Pick them as best base, unless you're gi giving it, you know, random health. They, however, do drop a little bit of XP. Now, the wiki also states that unlike giants, unlike zombies, they're actually their relation with harming potions and healing potions is opposite. They actually take health from healing potions. Let's put that to the test. I think that is the case and they are actually harmed by harming potions. Indeed, they are harmed by harming potions but healed by healing potions. Interesting. Oh, this out of good. The wiki also states that Wither attacks them. Let's put that to the test. Appears to be the case. Now, for testing purposes, we've also gotten the splash potion of harming and healing because previously we tried regeneration and um, damage and instant damage. Harming, they take damage. Healing, is he healing? <laughs> I actually have no way of knowing. So I'm sorry sir, but I'm gonna have to kill you. Huh. Is he actually taking damage? Oh, he was. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Next. Next up. Invisibility. Does the invisibility potion work on them? Let's separate one of them. Hi. Alright. You, sir, do you turn invisible? Wow, he does. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. Well, looks like he just died. Derp. <laughs> okay. Poison. Are you poisoned, sir? Wow, they take poison damage. Amazing. I was not aware of that. Oh, that's a small duration. Okay. Cool. Next up, swiftness. Will you chase me? Will you speed up when I hurt you now? I think he actually is sped up. Yep, I think he's sped up. Let's see. Yep, he's definitely faster. Okay, so they do take advantage of the different types of potions. Alright, let's get out of your range. Alright. Alright, now if my... If I remember it correctly, this one has speed 2. So let's give this guy slowness 2. <laughs> well, they are bumping into each other. That's not helpful. 
um, slowness doesn't appear to be doing much but he is certainly faster so they do utilize the um, speed effect now we add some equipment on this guy to see if they show up when we go up in the game so let me just add some equipment it's now applying to entities which is what we want let's put a stone sword in his hand let's increase the drop, drop percent to 100 and filter let's go to his head oh by the way this is entities you need to set that to entities 298 drop percentage uh, let's give this um, data say a red helmet filter that cool. let's give a chest which is 299 100 a green chest plate because why not <laughs> okay let's legs 300 blue pants which is actually the default but <laughs> okay I, I mean the default pant color of a zombie and feet will be 301 let's turn that into black or does that make no that makes black okay so let's save all of that and I'll meet you back in the game also just you know since it's already there let's just ensure a feet like uh, feet gear <laughs> because why not let's add a lure this is a lure this is a foot. This is a footies. I have no idea what I just why I said that. Wow. Let's give it an enchantment. Say blast protection. Enchantment level 12 because why not? Alright. That ought to be weird. Let's see what we got. As we can see, the giant shows nothing. He is very jumpy all of a sudden. Not sure why, I think he's trying to get to me. Wow, he's jumping. Hmm. It's weird. Wonder why he's jumpy all of a sudden. So it takes, since he has 50 health, it takes about 12 arrows to kill him. 12 fully drawn arrows, I might add. And 15 swings from a diamond sword. Come on. Come on, sir. Also, I just noticed this that when Tommy Tweet was doing his video on giants, uh, he saw that if he shoot them in the head, he wouldn't take damage. But now he does, which is kind of weird. Hmm. This is putties. Okay. Okay, I think I set the color wrongly because um, they aren't showing up. I think I might have messed up the color, but we do have all the drops that we were supposed to get, so that's cool. Yeah. Alright, time to see if giants have the old mob code and they'll walk through the lava or will he, you know, walk around. Hi. Yep, looks like they have the old mob code and not to avoid lava. That sucks. Case in point, compared to the new mob code. He's going to come around, yep. See? <laughs> Alright, so this guy has jump boost, resistance and, you know, re regeneration. So, technically, this guy should chase me now. But can he come over it? Can he realize that he actually has jump boost? Hmm. Dude. Dude. Whoa! I... Whoa! Okay, I was not expecting that. Hey dude, come on. 
Come after me. He has jump boost for like... Whoa! Okay! So Tommy Tweet was just asking on Twitter that can they jump over and use jump boost? The answer is yes, they will. Whoa! Okay, yeah! Consistent! Yeah, okay, that's pretty handy. Pretty handy. They will jump after me. Will he hurt me now? I give you the right to murder me. Seriously, you can't hurt me. Whoa. But I believe if I walk into his hitbox, I should die. So, for science. I don't die. Really? I just push him away? I can't hit him? Wow, seriously? Wow, okay. That's weird, I mean... Tommy Tweet said they hurt you, but... Wow, it doesn't look like they can. That's weird, really weird. Okay, no, okay. So you have to hit their hitbox at a right position to die, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Prepare to die again! Okay. Okay, so they do one-shot kill you. Hmm. Alright, got full diamond armor. Hey, buddy. Murder me! Okay, that's a lot of hit. Hmm. That is weird. They sometimes can hit you, but sometimes they don't. Whoa. Get out of that hole. Murder me! Okay, so that does a lot of damage. Hmm. Five hearts even with full diamond armor. On normal. Okay. Now, as we saw with diamond armor, the giant gave. And he's actually jumping. No, I. he doesn't have jump boost. He's jumping on its own. On his own. Okay, he stops. Hi. Okay, uh... With diamond armor, he gives 5 hearts of damage. Does blocking help? Yes, I'm going to block into the giant. Worst idea ever, eh? you giant the attack is so inconsistent sometimes they attack me sometimes they don't I mean it's so inconsistent hit me <sighs> Damn it. okay uh, the attack with giants is very inconsistent sometimes they hit you sometimes you just push into them and you don't get hurt at all and on their own they can't hurt you they just come right next to you and just stop as presumably they're trying to ram you but since you're way down below and they're up there they can't get to you yeah obviously that begs the question if they can get to you can they attack you presumably not man so the giant's attack is very inconsistent come on all right guys I think we're ready to wrap up this video so in summary giants burn daylight are hostile they don't have any movement at all uh, any random movement they are very slow they can jump one block not further they take damage from lava cactus falling damage pretty much the same thing they don't have any sound at all, except when being hurt. They just make the breaking bones type noise. The both golems and the wither attack them. They're damaged by harming potions or damage potions and healed by healing potions, which is the opposite of zombies. 
and they don't show any equipment although they do drop it normally their attack strength as stated in the wiki is 25 hearts um, I can't actually measure that so I'm sorry but with diamond armor it appeared that they were giving like five or five and a half hearts of damage blocking I couldn't examine because they just come next to you and can't attack you because you're below them and even if you were at their same level they can't attack you so that's pretty weird you have to actually consciously walk into their hitbox and even then it's very fidgety and sometimes you push him sometimes you take damage and it's very inconsistent their attack didn't seem to have knockback I could be wrong but yeah I think that about sums it up and uh, thank you for watching this has been a pretty informative video for both for myself and hopefully for you uh, if I find more observation on giants I'll be sure to let you know as always thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video then tell me in, in your feedback in your comments and again thank you for watching this has been Oni and till next time see you later bye